Hey folks, Dono here with MasterFlash.net, bringing you a sample of the Drupal 7 Commerce creating product catalogs by using views, product types, and content types. So uh, this tutorial is about an hour long, and I walk you through about six or seven different layouts for creating views to display product catalogs and uh, adding extra fields in the content types and all that good stuff to uh, really make use of uh, the new style of calling products to the front end. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of walk you through what we have here. Uh, now this of course is just a basic grid setup, title linking to the content, image linking to the content, we've got the cost set up here along with the uh, you know product reference that allows us to add directly to the cart. And of course what I also have set up here is you know just a teaser of text from the body that is uh, displaying underneath and of course it's spread out throughout uh, all the products in this particular view. All right, so not only that, that's just one view of the six or seven that we create. Another type of view is the uh, you know table style, and obviously it looks really spread out here just because we're using this across uh, you know a thousand pixels width. Um, and obviously you can get an idea of how to uh, lay out the content, and uh, during that you also learn you know how to add extra items, remove extra items, basically allowing you to uh, you know make use of the catalogs at best. So on top of creating all the separate layouts, what we also do is basically set up on how to sort through uh, the content. And in this particular one, we have some taxonomy set up and we're making use of the views saying, okay, well, if a particular set of taxonomy is chosen, then I only wanna see those uh, products. And in our particular case, what we're using is, you know, Drupal 7, Drupal 7 Commerce, Drupal 7 for Beginners, and so on. Uh, and obviously with the select list here, if I choose any of these here, so if I just wanted to see Drupal 7 tutorials, I select that, apply, and then of course it feeds through and or sorts through and displays all of the uh, Drupal 7 products. And of course we can uh, do that for Drupal 6 as well. All right, just get those products laid out just like that. So on top of it, doing it that way, we also have it set up another way which is through here. Now in this particular layout what we're using is showing the full content. Now obviously showing this amount of content on a product list or a catalog is kind of obnoxious but uh, it's kind of what we do. We just sort of walk through the entire process of displaying some content, you know, one piece of content or the entire content. And uh, obviously right here what we're doing this is based off of taxonomy terms as being able to, as a user, select multiple items within this list to show the tutorial. So if I just wanted to see Drupal 7 and Drupal 7 Commerce tutorials, I hit apply. And then of course the uh, view sorts through everything and then you just see the commerce, all right, more commerce. And then of course you get into the, uh, you know, Drupal 7 beginners and stuff like that. Allowing us to really drill down the content or let the users drill down the content in order to view the particular products. Now obviously this sort of list would be better off for uh, something like this. But, uh, just examples. On top of that we go through uh, dressing up the back end making it easier for you know when we view the actual products for example if I were to go into the products here 